hello welcome back to my channel it's your mystic journey divine coming to you with another inspirational reading how you doing out there how you doing out there on this rainy <laughs> yes rainy thursday here on the east coast it is raining it is gloomy it is foggy, it is damp and dreary outside. I ain't gonna lie. Gonna be transparent. <laughs> it's quite depressing. Yes, not exactly the ideal way to bring in holiday, Christmas. So many are traveling, getting on the road. You're already worried about the traffic, the delays, the cancellations at the airport. It's already started. It's already happening. It puts a damper on the season, on sharing time with the family. My family's plans have already been interrupted. We were gathering together. Grandparents, aunties, cousins, nieces and nephews. I have no brothers. I have two beautiful sisters. And I'm blessed that both of my parents are still with me. Yes, they are. Yes, even in the 80s. My father 80 yet. Close enough. <laughs> but we are here. We are alive. We are blessed. Yes. So the holidays will be FaceTiming, texting, calling. Still will eat. I'm cooking. I'm feasting. For my beautiful three, my children. Yes, and we'll be indoors as the heavy rains are already on their way. The cold temperatures are following. We're talking about, well, the media is talking about life threatening temperatures on the way for the East Coast. So we'll be indoors. What will you be doing? With your family. Are you cooking? Are you traveling? Getting prepared? Are you in a tropical country where Christmas is hot every year? I wish. But this message is for someone in particular. I received some downloads last night as I slept. This is for a femme, a female, a woman, a divine feminine, sorry, masculine. <laughs> but Spirit spoke to me and it was a woman, surely. Be careful, Spirit says. And if this message resonates with you, pay attention. Be careful. The holiday season puts you in a state of nostalgia. In your Empress, your Queen of Cups energy, that is commended and beautiful to be. But, it also puts others at a time who vibrate low in a state of greed, deceit, deception, envy, jealousy. That five of swords energy competition. You have a friend. A good friend, a 
great friend, also a female, who on the outside, it appears, she is everything you need, a confidant, loyal, always there, always showing up. I saw you going in your pocket to take out your last to give her because she claims she was in need. You take her to the store, y'all go shopping. It's a large store, like a a nine not cent store. Of, I don't know what they what do they call them. It's a store that has everything in it. It has food, pots and pans, plants. Everything you need is in this one store. It's huge. And you're going shopping. You give her the money and tell her what you need. She's going to go look for it while you browse the other sections. And time passes, much time, and you go looking for your friend because. As you look outside, the snow begins to fall, and you realize we need to get to check out and get on our way. She's nowhere to be found. You call out her name. You go from aisle to aisle. It seems like it's a never-ending search. For your friend. You're calling her phone. She doesn't answer. You go to where you last saw her at. She's not there. And what you asked her for. What you picked out together. That she originally put in her basket. Because you were going to buy it. Is back on the shelf. You know because. The price of the item is the same. You remember it. It's the exact same item that you picked up together and put in her basket. And now it's back on the shelf. The store is getting empty as people are leaving. As they see the storm is coming and they're getting out. And now you start to get worried. As if maybe something happened to her. But you soon realize... She left. As you walk down the aisle, one of the women that works there who saw you come in together sees you and says, ma'am, are you looking for your friend? And you say, yes. And she says, oh, she exited the back entrance a long time ago. With no bags, no cart, no groceries. And she was in a hurry. You start to put two and two together. You gave this woman all your money. To let her know how much to spend. Now your pockets are empty. And you have a basket full of stuff that you wanted for yourself. Including a beautiful plant. You like plants. Whoever I'm talking to, you love plants. And you have children. You're a mom. But now you have to go home after putting everything back on the shelf because you can't afford to get it. It clicks on you. Oh my God. She was my ride. And apparently, you're far away from where you live. Because you traveled to see her. How would you get home?
This is all to say, as I reached into my basket of cards this morning, as I do every day, this is what came out. Spirit is telling you, it's okay to be loving, to be giving. Don't be a fool. Don't be used. Trust yourself more than you trust anyone else. It seems this friend and you originally haven't seen each other for a long time. Which is why when she finally got in touch with you, you ran to reconnect. Every connection doesn't meant that isn't meant to mend, to come back together. Sometimes people take sometimes spirit takes people out of our way. Or reason. We miss them. We always wonder how they're doing and where they've been. But that's just our heartstrings and nostalgia of this time of year pulling at us. It's temporary. We're not meant to go backwards. The people that we spent those times with served their purpose at the time. But it's time to go forward into new beginnings, into new connections, because you deserve better. Better friends, better support, better love. Spirit wants you to hear this message as a warning. Someone in your circle is deceiving you. They're pretending. They're wearing a mask because you were useful. They have intentions on what they're going to do with their usefulness. But they are truly not your friend. And you know who it is. You know who I'm talking about. Because the person came to your mind as soon as I said it. That is who it is. You love possibly too hard. You forgive possibly too often. Because you believe that's the best in you. Because you are a beautiful Chosen one, a star seed, an earth angel, a queen. You want to lead by example, always pulling them back in, letting them know that you're reliable, you are loyal, you are a true friend. But they're not you. And you're not supposed to be with them. It's okay to love. It's okay to give, to be generous. But don't be a martyr, loving. It's also okay to receive. It's also okay to receive. It doesn't make you a bad person if you're not always available. Always reliable, always. It always falls on you. You've been through a period of awakening, spiritual ascension. You're better. You vibrate higher in love and light. And those that are living in their low vibrational cells attracted to that. You're sticking out like a sore thumb. You're shining like the star. You are bright. 
And everybody and everyone sees that. Protect yourself. Protect this new chapter of your life. Protect your family and those you love. Protect your spiritual connection and your awakening. Protect your birthright and your purpose. Speak aloud, stand your ground. Do not be used, beloved. Do not be used. You feel it that moment when you give in and they say thank you and then they go away. And then when they come back, they're looking for more. Whether it's time, energy, finances, whatever it is. And then you say, you know what? When they're gone, I feel depleted. And when they come back, I always feel needed. But what am I really receiving in return? Is the energy reciprocal? energy. You feel it. There's something that just ain't right. There's something that just ain't right. They smile. They laugh. But there's something that just ain't right. You feel it in your gut. You're afraid to walk away, put distance between it. Set healthy boundaries because you think it's a show of you being in your little self, in your ego. You're not open to, but it's not that. Spirit is telling you to protect yourself and don't be used and it's okay to say no. It's okay to say no. It's okay to constantly not be available and not always show up and not always be the one if it's draining you and leaving you in lack energetically. You keep repeating yourself and repeating yourself and repeating yourself. But you know they're not really listening. They're just appeasing you. Stop talking. Stop repeating yourself. Say it loud and proud and then walk away and let it go. You know when the right ones show up because it'll feel right. You'll feel energized and left in a positive ascension, elevation of love. God bless you. My dog, you sneeze. Confirmation. You have come to your best because you worked for it and you worked hard. Let people know you expect their best and nothing less. Their positivity. Because you deserve to exist in that environment with those kind of individuals. They feed you. You feed each other. Stop being sucked in to the old. To toxicity. To the less than. To that that feeds the lower self. The lower mind. The lower spirit. And rise above it. Elevate higher. Reach for your higher self and hold on to it. You don't have to give. You are still growing. Your fertility. Your abundance. It's 
It's okay to receive from others. It's their choice. But you don't have to give and give and give and give if you don't have the gift because they do. And you're not obligated. You're not obligated to anyone and anything but you. Stop feeling guilty. Stop feeling stop feeling stop feeling obligated. Because now that you've ascended and awakened and overcome, stop feeling obligated to carry anyone and let them do their own work like you've done. Plant your seeds and watch them grow. But when you plant your seeds and you cover them up and you water them, you don't stand there and watch them day after day after day after day, waiting for them to sprout and go into a tree, you walk away and know that you've already planted a fertile seed and that it will do its job because you've done yours. That goes for people as well. Once you've planted the fertile seeds, walk away and let them grow. They have to find their own way. They have to figure it out. They have to connect with their own already and build their own spiritual relationship. You are not a martyr. God did not place you here to be one. Many of us who get into this purpose where we are seeking out our destiny, we understand that we are useful to God, to Goddess. We surrender to the will that we allow Spirit to use us to heal the universe. But don't be mistaken. It's not one person at a time. That is not your job to go one person at a time. Carrying bodies along the way, making sure they're okay. No, beloved. The purpose is to walk in your light and love and everywhere you be, every room you go in, every time you speak. The universe Gets that love, gets that light, is transmuted into energy for others to receive at their own will. Be a guiding light, be a shining star as you move, as you live, love. There's reward simply in your ability to forgive and move on. You teach as you speak. You teach as you live. Your life is an example. Your life and how you live, how you function, how you speak, how you move, who you choose to be with, who you choose to commune with. Your choices are your examples. Choose wisely. For others are watching, if you live and behave as you say you are. You speak of God and of light and love, but you hang with gossipers and cheaters and liars and thieves. Because we forgive all and we don't judge. But it's necessary to do that. <laughs> 
Judge who will you allow in your circle. Judge who you will allow to feed you and nourish your energy. Beloved. You're not obligated to be everything for everyone. Your obligation is to spirit. So walk in your truth and honesty. If you're honest with yourself, some got to go. And when I mean go, I don't mean you never speak to them, you shun them, you constantly speaking on what they do. It. That's not what I mean by go. It means if they call, if they need, if you can, then you do. But you don't sit around and be still, constantly waiting for others to come to you. Because you were useful. That is not what useful looks like. Useful means you live, you move, you travel, you explore. You grow. Hush, puppy. Hush. Hush. And your life becomes an example for others to want to be, want to do as. So it is challenging in this journey to understand what setting healthy boundaries look like. Some will tell you there's no such thing as boundaries. If you're walking in light and love, you go everywhere to anyone at any time because you're not better than they are. Some will tell you, like me, setting healthy boundaries and using the word no as a definitive answer is necessary to stay healthy. Stay healthy, mind, body, and spirit. It's okay not to take every invitation. It's okay not to hang with every old connection. It's okay to not always be available. It's okay not to have all the answers. It's okay to not be used. It's okay to be proud of how far you've come. And to protect that energy that you fought to get, to have, to not be depressed and not be mistreated and not be misused and not sit in rooms where you were not supported, not loved. And it's okay to use your intuition and your discernment. And if some call it judging, then it is what it is. It's okay to protect your heart. It's okay to protect your aura. It's part of the alignment and the balancing that we strive to do. It's part of growth. Growth is known when it's time to move on. And letting go does it mean you give up the love? You don't give up the love. You love hard and you have love for all. But you love some at a distance. <laughs> Everyone cannot go where you're going. And you are not obligated to drag people along. Because if you don't, then you know, you think you're bigger than. Or you may need them one day. 
Everything you need will be given to you when you need it. Everything. Everything. So don't worry about the future. Worry about today and where you are. Letting go of toxic connections, but keeping the love. Letting go of people that refuse to grow, because it's a real thing. And there are some that don't want to and can't and won't do without you, because you're the crutch. You have all the knowledge, all the wisdom, all the information. But your cups are half empty because they continue to deplete and deplete, deplete, and never deposit. Because they, you're strong and they, that's what you're there for, right? That's what they say. That's what they believe. That is not what God has for you, beloved. I know it can be confusing to understand. Walk away, stay, walk away, stay. Is it the love you don't let go of? The love you offer, the love you have to give, the love and light that you are. You are a benevolent one. You care. You nurture. You comfort. You teach. You lead. You recede. You fertilize. You're an example. But do it in movement, in energetic flow, deposit it as you move, as you grow. Don't be still and be stuck dry because, you know, if I don't, they think I'm in my ego. So what? The judgments of others are not who you are anymore. It's okay to say I love you from over here. It's okay to say if you need me, call me and I'll see about it. Not that I am always willing to do it. I'll see about it. See what I can do. Prioritize you in everything you do. And everything you give. Can you, excuse me, can you afford to be there? Can you afford to give that? Can you afford that person to be in your space? What will it cost you? How much energy do you have to give? Do you have to Keep quiet. Appease them. Even though you don't agree you have much to say. But you know they don't want to hear it. So you just. That's taken away from you. And your purpose to speak. And to teach and be an example. Everyone isn't going to like what you say. Everyone isn't going to like what you do. Everyone doesn't even like you. Yet they call to you. If they call to you, be you. Speak. Be you. Let them know if you call me, be ready for me. I speak. Raw, real. And ready. I speak God's lessons, God's laws, God's words, God's commandments. I speak through the God in me. And if that is not what you're looking for, I'm not the one to call. Because I'm going to give it to you God-like. And it's going to 
What were your demons? And if you're not ready for that, stop calling me. Stop looking for me. Stop inviting me. Because when I show up, I'm showing up. As my true self. As my truth. If they want you to be in the room and not be heard, we don't live that life anymore. Remember when our parents would say, a child to be seen and not heard? Lies. Children are the innocents of the world. They tell it like it is. Like they see it is like they say it. And that is really why adults don't want to hear what they have to say. Hmm. Let the children speak. Let them be heard. A lot of us need to know what's really going on. What's really being seen. Who we really are in the eyes of the, of the babe. Stop hushing these kids. Give them voices and rooms to speak in. Generations of wisdom are in these children. Our little star seeds, our little earth angels, our little fairies, our little mermaids. Many all returned. Let them speak. Stop hushing your children when people come over. Sending them to their room. Because we know why you do that. Because you're speaking gossip and negativity that you know they should not have to hear. The problem is you. Change the conversation. Your child should not, not be able to walk into a room and hear what you're speaking about. What are you saying? That can't be heard by Charles ears. The problem is you. Change your ways and your negativity. We need to bring the family back together. We need to sit together and speak together and love together and share together. Yes, and our children too. Stop giving them television and the phones and devices and leave them to themselves. To learn from TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and every other that you don't know what they're looking at. And listen to what they have to say and let them know their voices are important and valuable. Teach them to respect being part of a family. There are elders and things they need to hear and learn to help them grow. Warnings. We're not allowing them to get those in time. And look what's happening to our children. They're raising themselves. Change begins with you. I've already given the message. They are deceptors, snakes. Thieves, haters, yes, some will say, oh, I got no, yeah, yeah, we do, don't believe in that, oh, no such thing as haters, okay, maybe not for you, but for many of us, it's real, and that energy, that energy that you're ignoring, or that you're writing off because you're better, it will grow and it will destroy you. Be mindful. God gave you discernment and intuition for a reason. For a reason. You're just going to dismiss your gifts. 
because I got to see the whole world as a beautiful, positive place. And if I am that, all that will come. Be a realist. Be a realist. And know that evil and good are polarities. Two ends of the same lineage. How can we not join and ignore the other? Open your eyes and see. Yes, reach for the higher self. Yes, walk in love and light. Yes, grow and become better. Yes, focus on positivity. But don't be a fool, beloved. Protect your sacred space. Protect your energy. Protect your growth. Protect your fertility. And protect your family, family and yourself. Everyone ain't you. Everyone a walk, talk, behave, a wanna be you. Because you've elevated. Doesn't mean they will. You better watch. You better know. Because God takes care of babies and fools. And you are neither. Right? Don't be used. Wake up. Look around you. Use your discernment. I love you, but it's going to have to be from a distance. And if you need me, I will see your body. And that is okay. That's okay. Family, friends, and everyone else in between. Yes, you need people. We need each other. But be careful who you need and who you allow to need you. We're only energy. We're only human. We're only in this flesh and in this body for a period of time. And while you're energetically being there for everyone, you're missing out. And everything and everyone else. Because your circle is so small. When the world, the world, the universe, is your home. Not just the little place that you call home, family and friends. The universe is full of billions of people. Get to know them, some more, some new ones, <laughs> in new places, doing new things that resemble that which resembles you. And not just by your skin that you're in. There's all kinfolk and kin. We have ancestors from all walks of life. Many different worlds and planes and cosmic energies and stars and moon and sun and waters. Many different and they all do not look like us. They're not all the same culture as we are presently. But yeah, and so they are ancestors. They are blood of blood, bone of bone, our family. It's more than the family you see with your eyes, with your heart. Branch out, Spirit says. 2023 is going to be the year of travel, new beginnings. It's okay to want that. 
and be ready. Shed the old skin. Walk in your truth and your newness. Plant your fertile seeds of light and love in movement. Be an example in movement. Not in stillness. In a fool's energy. Explore. No expectations and no restrictions. Don't restrict. Don't expect. And that goes both ways. It goes both ways. In giving and receiving. Don't restrict yourself. Because you expect it to be there for everyone. And everything. Don't. Thank you for coming. I hope whoever needs to hear this message got the message. It's okay to be free. Free yourself. And live free. See about it. And if you can't, don't be a body. And that's okay too. <laughs> Seeds of growth, harvest and abundance is waiting for you. Let go of the dead weight that's delaying you from receiving your birthright, your inheritance, the abundance of love and light that God is trying to give you is this outside of the world you're sitting in because you think you have to be that for everyone, everything. All you have to do is be that for you and be an example and others will decide for themselves. Don't be a martyr. Don't be a martyr. Be an example. Movement. Yes. Yes. Enjoy your holiday. I wish you the best. Use your discernment. You'll know where you want to be. Not where you need to be. Where you want to be. Go there. You need you. God needs you. To need you. To be your best. Be an example and not a martyr. Your blessings come from above. Your blessings come from the universe. Your blessings come from your truth, your honesty, and your love. Not from Okay. Like, share, subscribe, and energetically exchange with me. Yes, it's a gift that's free to give. As I give this to you, you give it to me. Simply like the video. Subscribe to the channel and come again if you'd like. Share it with someone who's going through this season. It's being called to be somewhere that they really don't want to be. Because they're afraid if they don't go, it doesn't show that they've truly grown in their forgiveness and their light and energy. Okay, that also only means that you're still falling to the judgment of others. And you need validation for who you are. And we don't need that. We don't need that. 
If you want to spend it alone in your room, sipping hot cocoa and glazing out the window at the snow falling in peace and harmony, then do so. If you want to go to that big family function, get together and show everyone, then do that. Be available. But do what's in your heart to do. And not what you think you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be loving on you. And putting out a vibration of love into the universe. It will grow. That is your seed. That's all you need to plant. All right, beautiful beloved, I've held you long enough. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of this beautiful Thursday. I wish you well, beloved. On the weekend ahead, the holidays, eat well, love hard. Be a loving, joyful, harmonious, beautiful seed that you are. And that is enough. As within, so without. As above, so below. Until we meet again. I say.